this is Kenya's last best chance. The Central Committee of the Party has this morning held a meeting to deliberate on the ongoing crisis in Kenya. This meeting is happening at a most difficult time for our country, given all that has happened in the last few weeks. We are acutely aware that many families are still in mourning, having lost their loved ones, with civil society groups estimating that over 30 young Kenyans fell to the regime bullets in the course of the street protests. Many of these families are yet to bury these victims. On behalf of the entire ODM party, the Central Committee extends its deepest condolences to all those who have lost their loved ones and pray that God will comfort them in this time of tragedy. We also know that many were injured and some are still in hospital. We wish all of them quick recovery. We are in awe of the Kenyan youth who through their unity of purpose have stood with their fallen colleagues and raised vast sums of money in very short times to pay hospital bills for the injured. As a mass movement that has been on this journey of true liberation for a long time, we know how difficult it is to achieve some of the things that we have seen you do. You have absolutely earned our respect as a party and we salute you. As believers in the right to peaceful protest as enshrined under Article 37, we condemn in the strongest terms possible the abuse of police power in the deployment of violent suppression techniques on innocent and armed protesters. Our position is that no one has to die in exercise of the rights under Article 37. We further condemn the ongoing arbitrary abductions of innocent Kenyans who are cutted away in the most violent and inhumane manner and held in communicado for days. As we speak, the reports are that upwards of 50 individuals have been illegally abducted and their whereabouts remain unknown. To make it worse, it is clear that no one in government is ready to take responsibility, to render an apology, or to make amends. The head of state himself has tried to distance his regime from these killings, injuries, and abductions, instead conjuring up theories when everyone can see the blood on his hands. We have the most callous, insensitive, and obtuse regime in the history of Kenya. It is no wonder that chants of Ruto must go are ringing out all across our land. Government must never abdicate its responsibility to protect life and the property of its citizens. And if it does, as Ruto has done, it deserves to go.